Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a hard drive replacement on a Dell all-in-1. So if you're getting an error message when you turn on the computer, it says that the boot device is not found, or maybe the hard drive failure, things like that, and it doesn't boot to Windows, then more likely the hard drive has gone bad. All right, so in my case, my hard drive is slowing down. I get a lot of uh, uh, the spinning wheel and the computer performance is very slow so I would like to take this opportunity to change the hard drive to a solid state drive which is the SSD drive so when you change the solid state drive then the computer would perform a lot faster and um, highly recommend to do with the uh, solid state drive so before the hard drive crash I like to change it out and back up my data alright so let's begin and the first thing I like to do is to identify the model of the computer. So if you turn it around, flip it to the back of your computer here, you can take a look at the, um, the model. So let me show it to you. So this is the Dell Inspiron. In the back of the computer, you can see that this is Dell Inspiron 5490. Let me lift it closer for you. And the model is W24C. All right, Dell Inspiron 5490, all in one series. So the first thing you need to do is to remove the back cover. So this is the entire back cover. It doesn't have any screw that hold on to it. So what you need to do is uh, some sort of a metal prying tool or plastic prying tool, whichever you prefer. We need to pry open the back cover here. All right, so let me show it to you in a closer angle. The cover I'd like you to pay attention to would be this, this one here. Okay, so in between, you can slide that prying to and start prying the plastic. All right, so let me pry a couple of them here. So slide it in. You can hear that little clipper starting to pop, which is a good sign of it. And that would be the plastic that we need to achieve, is to pop open that plastic cover. So work your way around it until you get to that final, final clipper okay so I get the entire uh, back of it so meaning that from left to right this thing is already pop open now I just have to lift it up and if you find it still uh, hard to lift it up you just have to wiggle and keep popping the rest of the one on the top here okay so once you have lift up the entire back cover now you can see that the computer uh, the internal part of all your computers here so I do a quick walkthrough at least you get to uh, know what is what you're looking at so this is your hard drive the original drive is the spinning hard drive that is the slow drive and this hard drive here is giving me problem and it is failing so I highly recommend to change out to one of this solid state drive the SSD drive and you can replace it therefore that will solve your problem or your hard drive is broken right so that's one way to look at it um, these two are your speakers okay and left and right this is your CPU fan the heatsink if the fan is dirty this is time where you can use the A can duster go ahead and spray the air on it and dust off the uh, this is uh, dust of all your dust okay <coughs> excuse me so let's go ahead and start removing the hard drive
once you have removed the two screw you can slide the hard drive to your left and you can just remove it the bracket we need to transfer over to the SSD drive so you need to do that part now um, let me go ahead and change it now well I actually need to clone the hard drive so I need to remove the, uh, the bracket here in this video, I'm just going to show it to you how to physically, you know, change out the hard drive. But I just wanted to point that out to you. Now, if you change to the new SSD drive, right? Let's just say your hard drive died, you remove the old hard drive, you change the new one in um, and put it all back together that doesn't mean that you would have a working computer so i want to warn you ahead of time make sure you understand this process okay changing a new hard drive doesn't mean that the windows is installed doesn't mean that all your data is moved over from the old hard drive to the new one you still have to have um what do you call um windows installed in that new ssd drive so i'm just going to give you an example here quickly just going to put this one back together let's see Okay, you have the two screws back in, right? I just want to make sure that you guys are um, able to follow along and get this thing going. So have this one installed for the right side of the drive. Get the two screws back in. Okay, four screws total, holding down the uh, hard drive. I did not put all the way in, so uh, slide it back to your right so push it in and the two silver screw would go back onto the drive okay now let's talk about what happened next you would be putting obviously you would be putting back the back cover here so you'd be sliding it back down slide it down first and then press from the top so you want to press from the very top let it you know go back in you're just going to press the clipper would lock the uh, back cover back together now let's continue with the talking about what might happen next you definitely need to have um, you have two options one is to buy yourself a Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB installer file you can get them from you know Amazon or eBay uh, if you do not want to buy one you can actually create your own meaning that you can go to Microsoft website I'll, what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below go check out the link direct you to Microsoft website where you can actually make your own USB installer Windows installer okay so get yourself make yourself a USB installer or buy one if you like and start installing Windows into your new hard drive the one that we just installed okay now once you have done that process you would have a brand new fresh hard drive with the fresh windows in it technically the computer is just like brand new then you can actually buy an adapter to slot it in to read off your old hard drive meaning that you can uh, try to recover your data like a pictures music whatever if you want but if you already make a backup to your external drive before changing the SSD then you can just skip that process all right so um, those are the things that I like to bring it up for you uh, at least you get an idea of what you'll be expecting once you change out the drive now I do have a separate video what that I do is that I clone the hard drive from the old to the new meaning that um, you want your windows you want your settings you want your program all your data everything to look exactly identical from the old hard drive to the new one I did make a separate video on how to do the cloning process meaning that you clone everything over and when you change out the hard drive like the physical drive you swap it out to the solid state drive when you turn on the computer everything would be just like how it was okay so if you're interested the option number two by cloning the drive check out the link in the description below it would link you to um, my separate video where I show you step by step on how to do the cloning process all right if you find the videos is helpful please 
uh, smash the like button for me and if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe um, I'm here to listen to your uh, questions and if you have any computer stuff related comment below and I'll try to answer you there and if you're not sure where to buy the tools and the hard drive uh, check out the link description below for America shopper or the UK shopper the European shopper check it out in the link of description below thanks for watching until next time bye now